Well, no, I'm not even gonna apologize. Why should I apologize to you? I mean, why? Don't fit the certain norm of whatever a person thinks a woman should look like. I'm gonna look here. Well, hello, lovely people. I first wanna start out today's video by saying I am someone that believes in the utter magnetism of positivity. So today's video is not to get into a negative rut or to spread the idea that negativity is cool or whatever. In fact, today I wanna say that I've had a hard time finding the negativity in some of the things that you guys have said because I know that I'm showered with a lot more positivity than negativity. But I'm not a saint. I absolutely get affected when negative things are said and negative comments are given to me. So without further ado, I am reacting to negative comments from you guys. Should be slapped. I mean, why? Like, first of all, physical violence is not right. And I think it's a guy that wrote this. So that bothers me. I don't think resorting to physical violence is ever the answer. I am a very peaceful person. I am not someone that condones any kind of violence. I don't think people should be slapped. I don't think you should slap your kids. I don't think a man should slap a man. I don't think a woman should slap a woman. I think, listen, I think slapping is absolutely unnecessary. I know that's like me being very idealistic and whatever, but that's rude. And I'm sorry, I don't know who you're telling to slap me, but that's rude. Just wash you hair. First of all, get your grammar right, okay? Second of all, I'm sorry, but I don't wash my hair every single day. I don't think it's healthy. I've put a whole video on this about hair care and the fact that I do suffer from dandruff and I do suffer from an itchy scalp, so... I'm honest about it and I'm real. I don't edit my videos, I don't edit my photos, and I show up completely raw so you can see what a normal human being looks like. I'm sorry if you've never seen dandruff before. I'm sorry if you have seen only perfect looking hair, but that's not reality, so bye. Get a reality check. Boo you, go get a shower. I shower every day, I just don't wash my hair every day. Do I need to go over this again? I just, I, sorry. Sorry, no, I'm not even gonna apologize. Why should I apologize to you? Go spread positivity on someone's video, not negativity. Okay, quick outfit update. I think I wear this top in like most of my YouTube videos because I love just like lounging in it. It's by Beyond Yoga and it has like, I love doing this with it. How fun is that? Also, my rings are a moment today. This is by Vanessa Mooney. This is Pandora. This is Majuri. And then I think these earrings, I don't know. I don't know where they're from. This one, the M, is by this really fun jewelry designer called Tara Fine Jewelry. She's based in India. She's actually my aunt's friend. And then this one is by Vanessa Mooney. It's a Sagittarius necklace. For those of you who don't know, I'm a Sagittarius. I love wearing jewelry that like defines me, you know, that like, that's Malvika. Like you'll be able to tell with my jewelry most of the time. All right, now this one bothers me a lot because I don't think that body shaming only happens when you're on the bigger side, I think that there's a lot of body shaming that happens when you don't fit the certain norm of whatever a person thinks a woman should look like. I mean, I think there are all kinds of body types. I personally have gone through several different kinds of body types in my life. When I was younger, I was 13, 14, 15. I was much bigger. I'm five foot four. I was about 150 pounds at that time. Well, now actually I'm five foot five and a half ish now. But at that time, I was considered big and I was really made fun of because the school I went to everyone was of a certain descent like a lot of people were um, Korean and, and they had a different bone structure to me and a lot of people like made fun of the fact that I looked very different and I was much bigger and I took that the wrong way I definitely went down the wrong you know habits with eating and exercising and over exercising and I've talked about this in one of my videos before but I think it all comes down to like we need to learn to respect people and stop objectifying them. I get that my whole industry is super visual and it's a visual medium, but I will not allow for someone else to tell me that I'm to this or to that. You can say it, you can put it on my page if you want, but I'm sorry, I think I'm beautiful the way I am. 
if tomorrow I wake up and I'm 30 pounds heavier, I'm still gonna look in the mirror and say, you're beautiful. If tomorrow I wake up and I'm 30 pounds lighter, I'm still gonna look in the mirror and I'm gonna say, you're beautiful. Because absolutely, I'm telling you, it is inside what counts. I mean, that sounds like a cliche. What you see on the outside is just there today and tomorrow it may look a little bit different. You know, we age, we gain weight, we lose weight. It's a normal thing. And so I just, I really don't like it when people comment on other people's body types or you know, what they think their body looks like. I think it's wrong. And I think even if someone says it in a positive way, like well, sometimes we objectify women's bodies, but we're trying to like praise them, like how men will like say certain things about women's butts or their boobs or whatever. That bothers me as well. Say you have a beautiful soul, then I'll be your friend. All right, I don't want this video to get super long and have too much negativity in here. So I am going to say that I have so much love from some of you guys on instagram and tiktok and i genuinely am so grateful for the 99 percent the one percent that we talked about in this video y'all can go actually i want to give that one percent a huge hug because y'all are probably the type of people that need it so big love to my you know supporters and an even bigger hug to the haters peace out i'll see you guys in my next video